couple little uh, videos here and I thought of you and I thought I'm going to put you on the spot and see what are you going to change or improve about your trading for 2019. Well, that is putting me on the spot. <laughs> That's the best way to do it. <laughs> yes, I, I mean, Instinct, I know that... intuition. Don't be intellectual. This is we no are approaching intellectual. 2019, yes, but I haven't considered 2019. You just... should be. It, it's almost here. Before you know it, boom, it'll be January 1st. So right now, without thinking at all, even though it's okay to think, I'm saying instinctually right now, and this is, this is how you think not with your brain but with other parts of you, which is your heart and your soul and your spirit. What do you, what do you want to see for yourself in 2019? What do you want to manifest and create for yourself, for your trading for 2019? And you shouldn't have to think about that. Success. Okay. Success. Define that for, for yourself. Success comes with monetary terms, doesn't it? With being paid for what you do and the time that you spend doing what you do. Okay, so meaning which, that you would be making is, a certain amount, like do you have a specific amount? I mean, you don't have to say it if you don't want to say it, but like you have to, you should have an um, amount in your head specifically. It should be an amount that you want to make by 12-31-19 that you want to make trading by the end of the calendar year. So you're thinking about the whole year, you're saying, okay, I want to make this much money from the market by the end of the year, no matter how, whether it's options, whether it's day training, whatever. That's, I find that difficult. Okay, well then that's problem number one, because you can't, yes. because if you're not that specific, I didn't even realize this, I should have asked you this a long time ago. You really need to be that specific if you're going to manifest something for yourself. And I'm, I'm being 100% serious here. Because if you don't know, or if you find that difficult, then you're, it's never going to happen. Not a chance in hell. Yes, I, I understand that. But I... You need to have an amount of money. And you, you, I mean, it's not January 1st. But I'm just telling you, it's November 25th. You better start thinking about it. You got 31 days. Yes. I mean, I have had thoughts about how much... I would like, yes, mm -hmm. I've had thoughts in the past of how much I would like, mm -hmm. but it's actually, it, it's, it's the, what should we say? Actually, you have 36 it's, days. I just looked at a calendar. I don't know why I was thinking Christmas. It, <laughs> it's, yes. a, it's a month till Christmas today. Oh my gosh. I, I can't know, believe that. Christmas is in a month. Yes. <gasps> I know. Oh, it my just rolls on. Wow. It, it's having the ability to be able to, it's not so much the money at the end of the day. It's seeing that you are actually achieving something and achieving the means to get you where you want well, to go. Well, philosophically, that's great. And that's a, that's a great attitude for someone that just started yesterday. It's a fabulous attitude. But that's not you. So we're no, being not. specific <laughs> to you. Okay. So for you, you, you need to actually, you, it's more for you than that. That's a great attitude for somebody that just starts, that never traded in their life before and, and just did the class day one. Yes. That's not yes. you. So I'm, that's why I'm saying, and this is, you know, it's, it's you really, and constantly whenever you're saying, well, it's you made money, but it's not enough, and you made money, but it's not enough. And that kind of self-talk has, you've got to stop. But the biggest thing is, I'm seeing here now, you don't even know what you would be happy with by the end of the year. Yeah. And you absolutely have to yeah, think the, about the, that. The, the problem is, yes, I'm, I'm, I am happy with small amounts. I'm happy mm -hmm. with what I receive. It's not so much how much you are receiving back from the market. To me, it all relates back, as I've said a thousand times, mm -hmm. it's how much I'm putting out there to how much I'm being returned. I know, but you can't do anything about that. So it is what it is. At different times and different... No, it's not. No, it's not. If I put out... A hundred dollars, 
I would like $200. I yeah. know, but the reality is that not every trade works out like that. And so until you can come to to a, like uh, you until you can come to terms with that and just find peace with it, you're you're going to be frustrated. So I mean, I would love every trade to be some huge massive trade to a dream target or one we could just do every single day like Nvidia. We just trade it, we just short it every day of our life. I mean, I would love that, but that's not reality. So the reality is that some trades are not going to turn around the way that you want or go to the target that you want, but they could still be profitable. You have to find a way to live within the confines of the framework of what the market gives you and knowing, knowing and trusting that there will be huge trades. And if you're not sure what those are, then you ask me. So the reality is that you need to, you need to accept that if you want to do this, that you will not always have these risks to rewards that you that you expect, and that's where the not enough is coming from. That's exactly it, where that's coming from. It, no, it, it's <laughs> not the not enough. But it's you say that you say that, that all the time in the room. You say that all the time in the room. No, it's not the fact that it's not enough. It's the fact that how can I how can I get put a target out there to say let, let's just say fifty thousand. I want the fifty for fifty thousand. How do I achieve getting 50,000 when I've been up there, I've traded at $1,000 mm -hmm. ago, that's not a problem. Wait a minute, I'm lost. Industry. You want to make 50,000 by the end of the year? You want a $50,000 account? I don't understand. What's the 50,000 yes, again? 50,000 in, 50, in the account. Let's just say 50,000. Okay, we well have to make the 50,000 then to get the 50,000. So let's start with that. So, yes. yeah, okay. So based on that, Again, you still have to come up with an amount of money that you want to make for the end of the year, or just look six months out well, if you well, can't if you can't well, do say, a year. Say say fifty thousand. Okay, in six months you want to have fifty thousand dollars in the account. Yes. So that would be June. That would be by July first. Yes. Okay, so there's a goal. So you need to start getting that in your head every day and say it a thousand times a day. Yes. But so you how need do to you see it that? there. Okay. How so you, where do you start? You see, where do you start? I'm obviously trading small. I'm trading small because I've been up there large. And I know, but you didn't do the right actions then because your expectations were too high. And I'm trying to bring you down. See, here's what you're, it's like you're climbing. Can you see my arrow? You're going up the mountain. Yes, I And can. everything looks great. You're almost at the top. And then you, then you hit a rock and then you fall back. You may not go right up straight again. You may hit that rock and then you go up a little bit and then you fall back again and you say, oh my gosh. Well, it doesn't mean you go all the way back down here, but that's literally what you've done to yourself. So you're it still is. you're it still is. past the starting point here. I truly you're not at the top yet, but you're still past the beginning. So why don't you look at the glass as half full instead of half empty a little bit? But I do, that's my attitude. I look at it as half full. I don't I think you do, do even though you have a very happy mannerism about you. You're very happy, but sometimes I can tell by your thoughts. It's not it's not even what you say to me. It's what's going on in your head. But it's frustration because at I the same know. time, you can have these thoughts of money and how much you want, mm -hmm. and you can also have the knowledge of what you are supposed to you do. You have the knowledge. You have the knowledge. You've been trying to change the knowledge around, and I think I've proven at least in the last month that you shouldn't do that. I hope that I've proven that point, but either way, you've got the knowledge, or you did, until you started to jimmy it around. But if you go back to the basics anyways, I think you'll be best, and I hope that the last month has proved that because you've been trying to follow me more. But either way, you've got that. It's the, it's what's going on in your mind. I mean, for me to say to you, what do you, what do you want to make in 2019 and not have a clue, not even have a clue, that is a problem right there. But, I mean, it's but, like but, but, yes, but like I said, you you only you only can put a figure out there mm -hmm. when you have that possibility. Wrong, wrong. Oh, I sat in with you at Capitol Grill in 2013, and we went out to dinner, and you were here, and I said I want to be on national television. I didn't have you a did. clue how I was going to get there. I didn't know what channel I would be on. I didn't know anything at all, and I did 150,000 things to even get to this point, none of which made any sense, and every time something didn't work out, I didn't cry the blues, and I didn't give up, and I didn't say, wee, 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 and I'm never going to do it. In my mind, I had exactly what I wanted to happen, exactly what I knew I wanted to happen, and I told you that when we sat at dinner in 2013, and I don't understand why I can't be a mentor for you for that, to envision what you want to occur. 
not even knowing how it's going to happen. Maybe you don't know it's, how it's going to happen, but yes, knowing but exactly could, what you want to I, happen. I could see that, Melissa. Hmm? I could see that before I sat in front of you face to face. What? The drive that you have and you possess, that was so, going to so, drive so, you no matter what. Yes, yeah, so I, you can that. do that too. But don't you get it? You can do that too. You can do that too. Yes, I have. Yes, I do have the, the drive there. Okay. But it's it's seeing that actually progress. No, you can't. You're, you're, you're telling me right now. You can't create it until you know exactly A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You want to know every step from 1 to 25 is going to get you there. And I'm telling you, that's not how life works. Yes, that, that would be... That would be fantastic, and guess what? If that was the case, everyone would do well in the world and the planet. But that's the mystery of life. Don't you get it? The people that think like me are the ones that end up creating what they want because I didn't know how I was going to get there, and I still have things I want to do now, and I have no idea how they're going to happen, but I know that they will. And so yes. you can learn from me, Philip. You don't need to know that. Know that if you see that and believe in that, that it will happen and part of the fun, or I guess the, the excitement of the journey is you have absolutely no idea how that's going to happen. But you know that yes. it will. Yes, I do believe so. I do believe that. It's just the fact that I'd like something to materialize in front of me. No, you want to know, do, boo, boo. You want to materialize what? You have had good trades. You've had good solid trades. Maybe some were less than what you wanted, but you've had good solid profits in the last month and I gave you credit for that. And the email the other day, I said, you're doing better. You're absolutely doing better. You've had some good solid trades. Now, the fact that you didn't do the market ones, whatever, you still have had some good solid trades and you're booking profit. So give yourself but, a back, pat on the back but, for having that yes, and doing that. Yes, hang on, the market ones that you've called, they were more day trades. I know, but there's nothing you can do about that right now. If you ever want to get to the point where you hold these things overnight, then you have to get your account up. So it's just like, again, yes. it's the same thing. Yes, but, but Look at it as a it. half glass full. You're looking at the glass is half empty. Well, I couldn't do these because I couldn't hold them. Look at it as a half full glass. I am, but I have to work within the restrictions of my account. I know. I don't want to get into this here. I don't want to talk about I any specific trades right now. I want to talk fact, about what's going on in your mind. I have to. I don't. No, 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 no. You could turn that around and have your account at a place where they would let you actively day trade in, in less than, in fact, why don't you manifest that? What, right now? Why because don't you say, I want to have an account where I can do the, every single trade that she's calling, whether it's in the ETF or whether it's a, whether it's a day trade in the market, I want to have this by February 15th, right there. There, I just gave you an idea of something to manifest and I just threw that uh, out there. Yes, it, you know. I, but I am, I am happy with this, where I am. I'm quite happy where I am. It's just the problem of the, the size of the account but it's Obviously, not a problem if you get it up. So you need to you exactly, need to start thinking exactly, more positively. This is that's what I'm answer. saying. But you're not thinking specific enough. In your mind, you're like, well, I'm never going to be able to do this till the end of time. I mean, that's not true. You I mean, right now, I'm just going to tell you, you had a huge account before you told me. And then okay. guess what? You stopped doing the right things. You would be up $2,000 in a $4,000 risk trade and you wouldn't get out with profit. And you see how the market forced it on you, the discipline to tell you that you were doing wrong actions and that even making two grand with a $4,000 risk is actually a good trade. But in your mind, you never thought it was a good trade. Now you're risking 100 and making 84 and you're saying, well, that's an okay trade, but I really would like to make more. But don't you understand it's all the same process. It's what's happening in your head. This has nothing to do with the gap. It's nothing to do with charts. It's nothing to do with anything at all with the market. It has to do with you. You could apply this to anything, you real estate, something else you want to do over there in Europe. This is the fact that you are... You've created the situation you're in right now, but you can very well uncreate it and create the thing that you want. But if you don't, if you don't put it out there, what that is, then you're going to continue to stay in this, in this fog. So you need to get very, very clear about what you want to accomplish, and that's the reason I'm talking to you tonight. Now, you, it's not January first, but the fact is, you don't even have to wait till then. You could say, "Well, I'm clear right now." Boom, December one, I'm starting this, and you could do it. It's like there's no limitations on anything that you want to do at all. Yes, yes, I see that. I, I can see, I can see that. Yes, I'm in a position 
to move in that direction. But obviously, I'm, I'm looking, I'm just, I'm focusing on options. Whether I thought I'm fine with you focusing on options, focus on the options, focus on the day trades, focus on whatever you want. I think you should do both and you want to do both. But I'm saying right now, till January 1, you have, I don't know, five weeks or whatever is left to the end of the year, six weeks or whatever that whatever the period is. I'm saying you need to get in your head straight mentally what you want to achieve for 2019. And even right now, you could take the next week and decide what you want to achieve in the month of December so that you feel like you're moving forward. And that will be better for you. I think you're moving forward the last month. Now, you might not feel like you are, but I, I actually think that you are. But you still have, you don't have this exact thing in your head that you know 100%. Because if you can't even say it to me, then it's not there. Like for me to say to you, what do you want by the end of the year and not know, then that, what what message, and this is the last thing I'm going to say, and I'm going to get going because I have stuff to do tonight. What message do you want? You have to give the message to the universe that it needs to be clear. And if you're not, if you can't do that, then there's no way it's going to happen because it's not going to just going to magically fall on your lap. The message that you're putting out into the universe needs to be crystal, crystal clear. Right. Okay. And many people fail to understand that. They say, well, I'm very positive and I'm optimistic. Okay. About what? I mean, if you don't have in your head specifically, exactly, you don't need, you don't even, that's the beauty of the universe. That's the magic. That's the magic of our us as human beings. You don't even need to give the exact steps. All you have to do is be very clear about it with your intention and that you're knowing what it is that you want. And it will happen. It will just happen. You don't need to know the steps. And that's the magic of creating what you want and manifesting what you want in your life. And I am living proof of that, Philip. And you know that. So take knowing me to just kind of give into it instead of fighting it or saying this doesn't make any sense to me. Just say, well, you know, just give into it. Just say, you know what? Yes, I believe that this is true. It doesn't make any sense to me, but... I think she's right. Do you know what I'm saying? Well, yes. I mean, the frustrating part of my account this last month was I took a trade coming up to the end of the month. I know. That was and WMT, I, was it? Or what was it? I forget what you did. I, I can't remember now, but I, I think I lost. No, it was a, win. It was a win. It was a win that you did. You lost four times the amount of win. win. Yeah, that been. was the one. I knew it started with a W. Yeah, that yeah. was the one that threw the spanner. If I had to, I mean, I was nearly, I was, in fact, I think I was over $100 in profit. If I had taken it out at that point, it would have been, my account would have looked a little healthier. Okay, so that is that going to ruin your life? No. no. No, it isn't. No, but you analyze, don't you, or you should do, why you didn't achieve what you wanted to achieve. Wait, say that, that, right? no, say that again? What? You analyze what you could or if you had taken that money mm -hmm. at that time. Right. I mean, you anticipated it going further. It of course, but I didn't risk four times the amount, and neither should have you. So do you understand oh, the market no, is never... That, no, huh? it wasn't, no, no, it wasn't that trade. It wasn't that particular trade. No, but. that is the trade that you risked more than you should have. I remember you telling me. Yes, I, I did. So I the did market risk. isn't going to pay you. It's like saying, well, this is a great trade. It never happens this way. Like, let's just say you would risk your entire account in NVIDIA. Guess what? It would have been amazing, but that would have been so irresponsible. If yes. you had risked your entire account in a stop, a stop stock, I can't think of anything right now, but something that would have stopped, say, say the uh, win, then you would have lost the whole thing. The market is yes. never going to pay you a huge amount of money by doing something dumb. It just doesn't work that way. It just simply does not. And even every once in a while you hear somebody, oh, they made a million dollars in Bitcoin. Well, guess what? Those people probably have lost that and more because they Absolutely. bought it again, and now it's look at where it's at. It's seventy percent down. So the point is that you're not you're not going to learn anything from that experience. That's going to help you. You learn from the experience of saying, "Gosh, I lost this amount. I should never have taken four times your risk." You don't get paid in the market by risking the farm, making a huge amount of money and then running off into the sunset. It just doesn't work like that because you would, you would, even if that would happen, you would you would do that again. And then the next trade wouldn't work and then it'd hurt you even more. Because if you made 100 yes. grand in one trade and then risked 100 grand in the next trade and lost it all, you'd really be hurting. It'd be a lot different than risking 10 and losing 10 or risking five and losing five. 
because you would it wouldn't be a hundred. So that that those emotional swings and people do them to themselves in the market. They do it all the time. I hear the stories. That isn't good. That's not what happened to you. But I'm just saying that there there's nothing to be learned from that other than to not have risked more than you were wanting to risk. And I still don't know why you did that. But it's not the end of the world. It was one trading. You're still trading. Yes, I am. Yes, it was probably out of frustration, probably. But don't you understand, we could have a great trade tomorrow, or the next day, or the next day, or the next day, and all of a sudden, it could be like that never even happened. You have to have amnesia a little bit, too. You're, you, you hold I on do. to these things, like, for till death do us part. I mean, well, I, you can't be you, like you that with trades. Stock. I did. That had gone. I, I, that was way out. I just, you know, that was that was it. That was gone. I don't, I don't hold on to them. Yes, some of them I, I do remember, but... I remember the good ones as well. I know. you got to remember the good ones. But yeah. you can't expect to have some amazing, huge Facebook trade every trade. And I guess that's the only that's the only point. Anyways, I really want you to think about this. And you've got time. But the things I said, I, I you know, the stuff I just said tonight was good. I mean, you really got to think about what I just said because... You are. Will, you do will. not know what you want to, where you want to be at by the end of 2019, and you have time to think about it. But I'm telling you, if you don't know, then you're going to be having the same conversation with me in a year from now. <clears throat> yes, I will have to consider what my goal is. You don't have to have a plan of action specifically, but let me say this: Let's say you would write one down. That's okay too. But if it doesn't work out exactly like that, it doesn't mean everything goes to pot. So it's okay to say, well, I'm going to do this, this, and this, and this, and this to get there. And this is my goal. And you have that goal. At, you have that goal out there. The problem is that people do that. Then they have the goal. Then something in the five step program that they have for themselves doesn't work right. And then they completely lose sight in the goal. Do you, you, you see how this, this is how people's minds work. So, and, but that's not how my mind works. So I'm trying to tell you. So you could say, well, I'm going to do this and 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 I'm going to do this. So, so you go down and you do step one. It works great. Everything's fabulous. Everybody loves you and you're doing fabulous. You're making all kinds of money. Then two looks good and you're really up so much money. Then you do three and oh my gosh, this is horrible. Now it's terrible. And all of a sudden the goal now is gone to you just because three didn't work out. Well, you don't, you don't lose the goal in sight. Just and to manifest what you desire, just because three didn't work out, there could be another step you didn't know about. Maybe there's six steps instead of five. Maybe there's eight. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? I do, yes. Yes, I do. Does this make sense, what I'm trying to say? It does make sense, absolutely. Yes, I can fully appreciate what you're saying. I just need to put something into action. But it's just in your mind. I've never seen someone more create something that they don't want than you, which is what you did when you were here two years ago. So I'm telling you, that is how powerful you are. So no, recognize how powerful your brain is. You could even create something you don't want. So stop doing that. Right, I will. The power of creation doesn't know the difference between something that's, that's good or bad. There is no good or bad. It's whatever you're gonna create. So you can create something positive or you can create something negative. Creation is what it is. It's it doesn't it doesn't it's either it's neither one. You're creating as a human being. That's how powerful you are. You're creating whatever you're creating. So there's no label on it. The universe doesn't know if it's good or bad. The universe is saying, well, this person wants this, so I'm going to give it to them. And that may not be what you want, but you absolutely created it. So you got to be very specific about what you want out there to create because you're so powerful that you'll actually create something that you don't want. You understand what I'm saying? I can partly, yes, I can partly. I, 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 it's not, it's not that I don't want it. I do think of it and I do consider it, but it's actually achieving what anything. No, so anything you're worried again about the steps. So you're, you're worried again about the steps. You're almost too practical. See, I'm completely a dreamer, and that served me well in my life. But you're, you're getting. I'm not saying being. I'm not saying be impractical, but you're almost yes. like too practical. Right. But at yeah. the same time, Philip, I know you long enough that I, if I said do 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 about whatever, you you could go there to be a dreamer. You could do that. So you have well, it I in you. I can dream. Yes, yeah. Definitely. So you know, you're just not embracing that side of you in reference to your life with trading. And I'm telling, I'm trying to 
I'm trying to tell you, you need to do that. And if you do that, as impractical as it may seem to you, it actually is going to help you get there on a a day-to-day reality basis, which is what you want. Right. Okay. I think this was a productive discussion. Definitely. Thank you. All right. Think about what I said, and I'll talk to you in the room this week. Certainly will. Thank you. Okay, bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.